What's going on guys? Minnesota Vikings franchise here for the fourth day in a row. If you've been enjoying the videos, please leave a like on the video. And we are 7-8, and eight, obviously knocked out of playoff contention. Got an upset victory over the Green Bay Packers in overtime last week. And our season's pretty much toast. One week to go against the Chicago Bears. And we are going to fill up the team with some young guns. Marcus Hancock, a rookie linebacker here. And a few more guys to make some depth. And maybe we will carry into the preseason for some more competition. And so we go to Soul Soldier Field and the backups are going to be playing in this game, although formation subs did end up subbing in Christian Ponder and other players at some points. And this was basically a game for us to have the backups play, get some stats on the board, and maybe help out with their offseason progression. And so I, I've been worried about some of the players progressing. Obviously, age is a factor when you're looking at Adrian Peterson, Jared Allen, and Chad Greenway. They're all getting up there, some of our best players. And so it's good to see some of our youth come on and succeed. Guys like Lewis Nix III, Morris Claiborne, Jamel Fleming, and Keystone Terry, but as far as the offense goes, obviously we have some talent. We have some firepower. I mean, maybe the overalls aren't skyrocketing like Jamez Logan and Percy Harvin, I believe, are both either high 70s or low 80s. And then we have Larry Fitzgerald, Adrian Peterson, and Mark Harrison, even as a number four option, is a pretty good player. So Kyle Rudolph, also, I forgot about him. And obviously, this offseason period, I am going to be going for the offensive line. And if you did not know, I am doing season six. I am not ready to end this series by any means. I'm having a lot of fun playing it still and plus I mean come off a bad season like this I gotta have a comeback season so hopefully Telvin Smith also plays a big part I know on my defense I love some of the players I have on defense and a lot of them don't have very high overalls and like all my outside linebackers all have C potential but they're all playmakers TJ Stripping and Leroy Reynolds are great in the running game Telvin Smith I moved to defensive end and he was he's been a solid player and then Jelani Jenkins is a hard hitter he's forced a couple fumbles in the past few games I like the defense and we do have Tony Washington emerging here and he is going to hopefully take over for Jared Allen once his days are done but I'm looking forward to the NFL draft and this is kind of just an offseason preview I know I'm not talking about the gameplay so much right now but it's basically my backups in the game along with Percy Harvin and some other players basically just getting some reps and here Peterson stuck into the game and then Kaepernick gets sacked by Jarrell Worthy like the top defensive tackle in my series but we're going to talk about the offseason right now because i got to look forward to building this roster up once again. I mean, I signed a couple of veterans because I was looking to make a Super Bowl run. That's what I wanted. I signed Matt Burke because I didn't have a faithful option at center. And I signed Adrian Wilson because Taylor Mays is an inconsistent cover guy, but he's a solid third option and a good special teams player that can get us some turnovers as well. He's already gotten a lot of he's got a lot of forced fumbles, actually, in the special teams game. I think I have a lot of very good special teams players and guys who can really lay the wood on my defense. And it's basically... Basically, the offense has really got to pick it up because Christian Ponder, he only had like 10 passing touchdowns this entire season. Really bad, and most of that is falls on my shoulders, obviously. But there's no protection at all from the offensive line, especially on the interior. Even Nate Potter's looked kind of bad because everybody else is horrible around him. Matt Burke hasn't played all that well, and especially Tyler Riley, my left guard, needs to be replaced. And I'm hoping that I can still get some great players in the draft in the second round and beyond because I traded away a first round pick that was part of the deal to get Larry Fitzgerald here in Minnesota. And obviously he did not provide the impact I was hoping for when I traded for him this year. We were 2-2 two and two on the year. I thought he would help put us over the edge and make our offense better. But the offensive line, it was just the story of the entire season. They could not block for Adrian. They could not block for Christian. And also, it was a season of very, very many close games that were decided in the final seconds that I could not pull off with Christian Ponder's arm. A lot of those situations were like 40-yard passes to the end zone, 50-yard passes to the end zone that just weren't able to happen. And there's just some things that need to happen this offseason. I'm thinking about replacing Colin Kaepernick. And I'll look at the progression from all these players as we get to the offseason. Obviously, after this, I'll probably end up making a video showing the stats and awards and just recapping basically what happened on paper for this season in the Vikings franchise series. And I also plan on live streaming the Super Bowl for you guys. I probably won't edit that into an actual episode. I want to stream it for you guys, though. I think you guys will enjoy it. I'm going to try to get some guests in there to help on commentary to make it a little bit more entertaining. Probably not as fan and small as if I can get a time that works for all three of us. But I'm looking forward to 
to Season 6, guys. I do plan on live streaming the off-season as well, so you guys will get to see me draft and do my free agency and all those tasks. They're a lot of fun. I will end up editing that one into an episode because that's more important, I think, than the Super Bowl because it's not really important to the actual series, but it's cool to see how the season's progressed and who the top players are and who the top teams are now. And so we're going to get to there probably. I want to do that stream possibly tomorrow, which would be Saturday the 11th, or I'll do it on Sunday, whatever works for everybody, I guess. But I'll probably end up making a live stream announcement once that has been planned at least a few hours in advance to get as many people in there that want to watch it as possible, especially because I don't want to make it into a separate video. So anyways, guys, in the comment section, you should leave your suggestions and feedback on what my focus should be this offseason. I have some big expiring contracts. I checked my player management tab. We have Jamel Fleming with an expired contract. I want to keep him around. And Christian Ponder, although a lot of people probably want me to possibly move on from the Christian Ponder era. But from the way I play Madden, the short passing and the medium passing game, Ponder has 99 accuracy. He's like a 76 deep accuracy, which is really tough to work with. And I just, hopefully in Season 6, we can escape those situations where we need those clutch throws towards the end of the game. Or I'm going to have to get a backup that has better throw strength or better throw accuracy deep. Because I'm not sure if Kaepernick's really that guy. I haven't really been all that impressed with him from what I've seen from the last preseason and this game especially. Although the offensive line was playing against the Bears starters and getting absolutely demolished. And my goal for Season 6 is obviously to go and win another Super Bowl title, although our veteran players and some of our best big-name guys are all aging. Chad Greenway, Jared Allen, Larry Fitzgerald, you name it. Adrian Wilson, Matt Burke, we'll see if those guys still stick around. They've been in the league for a long time, and I'll have to see it. assess the retirements and figure out what we're going to have to do in free agency and what's going to have to happen in the draft, or if we have to make a trade of some sort. There's nobody really I have my eyes or my heart set on trading right now. But I am looking forward to the offseason. I hope you guys are as well. You can see here late in the game, Ponder's trying to rally the guys back again. Once again, formation subs, putting guys who I don't want in the game in the game because I have made those substitutions at some point. Then here's Decker making a catch, and I signed him in the free agency last year. Really didn't make much of an impact because I like a lot of my receivers, and I usually carry too many. Like, guys aren't getting enough playing time. I drafted two receivers in the mid parts of the draft and that really was not a good decision on my part I think overall I've had some really bad drafts but I've been able to get a few big name players and so we finished year guys seven and nine lose the Chicago Bears not like I really was focused on winning that game because I want the better draft pick and I was wanting just to get some guys some playing time and so we're gonna simulate guys to the Super Bowl matchup and that live stream I want to do within the next couple of days the Super Bowl matchup we will be seeing is going to be the New York Giants and the New England Patriots. It happens again here in my series. It's going to happen. So that's the live stream, guys. Hope you guys are excited for it. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment on the video. Let me know what you think about the offseason. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.